It's not safe to be in hospitals anymore. Have you visited somebody recently in hospital? Have you noticed each bed's got a phone by the side of it? Do you know what that's for? That's to call a fucking ambulance. <laughs> you know the most important people in hospitals at the moment? The cleaners. Fuck the surgeons. Mrs. Mop's in charge now, you know. Soon we'll have a whole episode of Casualty just dedicated to cleaners where they're going, oh, I need 10 cc's of SIF and set me up an IV of Domestos, quick. <laughs> we're low on flash, we're going to lose the stain. <laughs> Soon you'll have junior cleaners funneling around senior cleaners to learn how it's done. So we've got a dirty floor, what do we need for a dirty floor? Well, we need a bucket. <laughs> yes, we need a bucket, but we need a good dooby-doo. Dooby-doo? Yes. Dooby-doo. Don't know if you've been down to outpatients, it's humiliating down there. All they do is get you to take your clothes off. You could walk in with anything, got a terrible earache. OK, take your clothes off and so they look at you. <laughs> it's a hospital, they must know what they're doing. <laughs> Why, you don't do that anywhere else? You know, you don't go up to the dentist and go, I've got a terrible toothache. OK, pull your pants down, so have a look at your ass. <laughs> and when you take your clothes off at the hospital, they always give you that hospital big blue gown. Have you seen that? Fuck, it's like a John J cloth. That's what we're wearing, that's what they're doing. They're getting us to clean the wards for them now. You do whatever that doctor says. You're standing there in your giant J-cloth and he's like, could you lay on the floor for me? That's lovely. Could you give me your ankles? Could you make this noise? Mmm, that's good. <laughs> and have you noticed every time you're at the hospital, they want to know who the immediate family is? They keep asking, are you the immediate family? No, I'm not that fast. Who the fuck are the immediate family? Who are they? <laughs> Do you invite them around your house for dinner and they go, we're already here, goodbye, we've got to go now with the immediate family, goodbye. <laughs> Who makes this stuff up? You know, because these are distant relatives, you, you invite them around your house for dinner, they stand at the end of your drive going, hello, we're the distant relatives. <laughs> we won't be coming in. <laughs> Who makes this up? Because there's your cousin once removed. Why? What the fuck did he do? <laughs> Because there's your other cousin twice removed. I told you once, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs>